What's up guys, Parker here. I want to bring you a video on a topic I get asked about all the time, and that's how can you exclude items from a slicer selection when you select them in a slicer, basically don't show them in the visual. So it's kind of backwards from uh, how a normal slicer works. So if you take another look at this top left graph, you can see I have four um, product lines here since I've already selected camping equipment. It's not showing up on the chart. If I now select golf equipment, you can see that's excluded from this chart as well. So it can also be excluded from other charts that don't specifically uh, reference that category. So for example, this doesn't have product line anywhere in it. This is product type um, as its axis. But if I select on, uh, or if I try to um, exclude a product line, let's say mountaineering equipment, you can see it's affecting the visual. So it's really cool. Um, this is done on a measure level. So I'm going to show you how you can set that up. Not too hard to do. So we're going to jump on over to another file. So this file right here uh, doesn't have anything set up yet. So we will go ahead and set it up. So right now, uh, basically this product line, uh, this product line slicer is set up from the same table as all of the other visuals, the same data as the other visuals. So as I select camping equipment, it is going to uh, filter it down to camping equipment, the opposite of what we want. We want to exclude it as we select it on the left in our slicer. Um, so the way we're gonna do that is first we need to set up a disconnected table. So we can do that by going to modeling and going to new table. And I'm gonna call this product lines. And this is just gonna be values, which values will get the distinct values of a certain field. And we want the product lines from the sales table. So once you click enter there, it's gonna load that table in and we're gonna take a look at what this new table looks like. So it's just the distinct values of our product lines. So this is not gonna be set up with a relationship. So you see it is totally independent of all the other tables. And then now we are going to swap out our new product line uh, field with our old one. So we're going to throw in the new product line. So this will have no bearing on any of the visuals. So that's great. Uh, next, we just need to create one measure and we are going to call this measure. Uh, I'm just going to call it exclude. And we can set this equal to a basic if statement. So basically, if our uh, product line from the sales table which basically right now this is referencing the uh, product line within our visuals. So if our product line within our visuals is in our selections on the left, which comes from the product lines table. So note that this is coming from the product lines table, which is our slicer selection. The first one was coming from the sales table, which are our visuals. So if our product line from the sales table is in the product line selections on the slicer. Let's return a, uh, a Y, else return a no, and that'll do it. So from there, we just need to select our visual, take our exclude and throw it into our filters, and basically say if uh, we want to uh, include it if exclude is no. So let's apply that filter. So basically this might be a little counterintuitive. So right now, basically since nothing is selected, everything is selected. So it's basically saying exclude everything. We'll fix that in just a second, but just to show uh, this off. So if we click camping equipment, we should now see four categories that don't include camping equipment. So now if we select outdoor protection, we're gonna lose outdoor protection and exclude that from our visual. So we're going to add one piece of code to make this a little bit better. So when nothing is selected, we still wanna show all of our categories because we don't ever really want a blank visual. We're just gonna add a little bit of uh, logic here. We're gonna say something like, and if count rows of um, all selected of our product lines, product line field. So basically if the number of selections, uh, if that is different than the number of selections when uh, of our like number of selections total, not looking at uh, basically what we've selected, looking at the total number of opportunities, product lines. If those are different, we want to return yes, if not, no. So basically if we have this, uh, let's say uh, in this case, we have two selections. So this is gonna be a two, but count rows all of product line is always gonna be a five. It's always our total number of selections possible. So when this is two, 
it does not equal. So we are just gonna say no here. So basically, if we were to get rid of this, now we should see all five categories when nothing is selected or when they're all selected, we'll still show all five. But the moment we don't have all of them selected, it's actually gonna work to exclude the items from, uh, from our view. Uh, and finally, we can do this, uh, we can add this as a filter to other visuals that don't contain that uh, product lines field. And we can do that just with a, the exact same logic where it is no, oh, don't need quotations, where it is no, apply that filter. So now as we click around, we will exclude from both charts. So pretty cool, pretty easy to do. The big trick is setting up that disconnected table. Um, once you have that, it's pretty easy to do with just one measure. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.